I am here in the Clark County Commission Chambers, and all the officers are shoving, shoving, and hey, wait a minute, what are you going hey, hey, what the hell? Don't push me now. Do not push me. Now don't get rough. Shoved by all the officers here, specifically this gentleman is shoved. I am normally the most calm person here. This is not something we do. We got this guy right here, security guard. I don't know his number, but this guy is shoved mentally annoyed into me. I've got a bad knee and a bad back, and this guy shoves her into me. We're going to put out of this meeting. This is the city council. I am live. I'm right here in the county commission chamber where we've been kicked out. I've been sitting here for over an hour and a half. And Mr. Kennedy got has chosen to not only push me, but also show me the world out of this committee chamber here. Here's the problem. We've got a major problem here. This is not how it should be. This is not how it should be. We are coming and shutting down the chamber. I am not going right here and fighting with you. I'm not going anywhere. This is not something they should be doing. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name and your badge number? 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 I don't get shot lightly. Oh, listen, I've been caught on the night with a I'll be dead. If a security guard, one of the people are going to shove me around. You're not going to shove me around anymore. But I'm falling away. And that guy's got me in the night. And that's the way. You're going to stop me from protecting these people's fucking rights. You understand?
God took an oath to protect and serve, not to punish, you will be served the criminals, not to mask your bed. You just attack the candidate for the lieutenant. You guys need to resign right now. You need to resign from your position right now. Dude, we are not going to comply anymore. This is your last fucking morning. What you're doing is wrong. Next time you will break down and stand up. We will not comply. We will swallow you whole. Shalom Yashrala, Shalom. Kalalayam, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth that risketh their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. Your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp, here with another lesson. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the title, Governor Candidate Violently Ejected from Local Meeting, right? And this is an article that came out on business and politics, right? L Lieutenant Governor Candidate Violently Ejected from Local Meeting, Knocked to Ground, Takes Out Metal Detector, right? And this came out today, September 22nd, 2021, the year of looking for and hastening the coming of our Lord, right? And, uh... You know, it could be staged, it could be not, you know, but we know ESA, these ruling class elites, the banking families, you know, they have a thing called controlled opposition, right? They control both sides. They control the opposition and they control the mandates, man. You know what I mean? Right? And uh, this article, you know, the, the, the vibration of Egyptian against Egyptian it's out here, man. Isaiah 19, verse 2, and it reads, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, right? This is spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, which is America, right? The vibration of Sodom and Gomorrah, the vibration, the vibration, the energy of ancient Egypt, right? Is within America, right? It's, found, it's founded on those principles, right? And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom, right? And we see these uh, Edomites, we see two-thirds of our people, right? Right, entangled in this, right? Second Ezra 6, verse 24, and it reads, At that time shall friends fight one, one against another like enemies. Right, and these are the times we're in right now, man, where friends are fighting against each other, right? It's, it's a polarized society. America the Great is polarized, man. Right, you have the, you have the, the you have the, 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 for the Beetlejuice and you have uh, against the Beetlejuice, Right? And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still. And in three hours they shall not run, right? The earth is standing in fear, man. There's nothing but the, the whole vibration, the whole vibration of fear is out here, man. Everyone wearing masks in fear, right? Right? The springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run, right? That's going into the water issues, droughts, water shortages, Right? But this article, I'll read a little bit about it, a little bit of it. Things got crazy in Las Vegas when a meeting where local officials were debating a chilling proposal on cracking down on beer juice misinformation dev devolved into chaos when security violently removed a candidate for lieutenant governor of Nevada from the meeting. Mac Miller, who was running as a Republican, showed up at Tuesday's Clark County Commission meeting where he joined protesters who were outraged over what some view as the abusive measure that places extraordinary limitations 
on their First Amendment right to speech, right? And the whole the, the whole vibration of, of left versus right is out here, man. And already 10 scene took a turn for the worse when Miller, who verbally sparred with security personnel, was forcibly ejected from the meeting. Video that quickly went viral shows him being dragged down a hall and thrown into a metal detector. Miller laid on the ground for several minutes following an altercation, right? And once again, you know, could be staged, could not be, could, it, it, it might be staged, it might not. But uh, the fact of the matter remains, this is the vibration that's out here, man. You know what I mean? And, and this is going to lead to martial law. This is going to lead to more draconian, uh, 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 more draconian legislation, right? And uh, and uh, us in this truth, the hopeful elect, we're, we're not going to be out here taking part in, in, in scenes like this. We're going to stay as far away from scenes like this as possible, man. We've already separated from the world, man. We're waiting on Yahweh Shai, right? While, while all hell breaks loose and everything falls apart, the wheels fall off, so to speak, we're waiting on Yahweh Shai. Lamentation 3, verse 26, and it reads, It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait, right? We're hoping and we're quietly waiting. On what? For the salvation of... Of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right, we're waiting on Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's what we're waiting on. That's where we put our strength. That's where we put our faith in, man. We're not going to be out here partaking, fighting against authorities, getting thrown through metal detectors, man. Staged or unstaged. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5 verse 15 and it reads, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, right? And what does it mean to walk circumspectly? Aware of what's going on, aware of your surroundings, to look around, watching everything, right? Not as fools, but as wise. And who are the fools out here? Two-thirds of our people. These heathen nations, right? Two-thirds of our people out here are fools, man. They're not wise, right? Redeeming the time because the days are evil, right? Us in this truth, the hopeful elect, we're redeeming the time. We're watching, right? We know these times are evil, man. Right? We know the love of many is going to wax worse, wax cold. Matthew 24, verse 12, red letter. Our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, right? Sin upon sin, it's increasing. Right, out here is all about alphabet boys. Do as thou wilt. Violate the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High Yahweh, Shemel Shai. Right? So, because of that, the love of many shall wax cold. Right? People out here don't care about one another. Right? People don't care out here, man. And it's going to get worse. We're on the doorsteps of Jacob's trouble, man. Right? We're on the doorstep of the famine of the word. Right? And once that happens, the door of repentance is shut. All hell gonna break loose. Second Ezra 5 verse 2. But iniquity shall be increased. Right? And it's increasing. Above that which now thou seest. Right? And this is in the time of Ezra. Right? And we're in the times now where, iniqu where, 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 where iniquity has increased. Right? Or that thou hast heard long ago, right? As in the days of Noah, man. Right? It's nothing but wickedness out, out, out here. Right? And uh, these are the these these are these are the things. These are the things that are taking place out here, man. But us in this truth, we're not gonna uh, partake of this Esau's kingdom. You know, we're watching it burn, so to speak. You know what I mean? We've, we've, we've attached spiritually, right, from this wicked kingdom. We're just waiting on Yahweh Shai. 2 Timothy 2 verse 4, and it reads, No man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Why, you're right. Worth how? This, 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 this spiritual warfare, right? We're soldiers of Yahweh Shai, man, right? In this truth, right? So we're not going to entangle ourselves in the affairs of this life, Right? Chasing the bag, right? Bricks and mortar, career, PhD, 
plaques on the wall, right? 401k, right? 12 year plan, five year plan, right? That's the fears of this life, man. Right? The elect, the elect, the Lord willing over that number. We're not going to be entangled in the fears of this life, man. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Right. Our sole duty is to push this word. Push this word. Push this word. Right. Keep the law, statute, and commandments. Right. Do things that are pleasing to the Most High Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. That's our sole duty, man. Right. The quicker Yahweh Shai seals the elect, the quicker the Most High Yahweh Bashim Al Shai seals the elect. Through the pushing of this word. Via the mouth of the prophets, the quicker we're out of here, man. Right? Amos 8, verse 11, it reads, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? And that's what's coming, man. All these little uh, proxy wars and skirmishes and... and and, and 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 protesting is going to lead to the famine of the word, right? It's going to lead to the censorship, the clamping down of big tech. It's already started, right? The days are going to come where the prophets aren't going to be on the highways and hedges, right? The Mosai is going to pull them off of the hedges, pull the prophets off of the highways and the hedges. And big tech, social media is going to be highly, highly policed, right? This paragraph right here, Biden himself Accuse the social network of killing people with misinformation, an assertion that the tech giant vehemently rejected. As for, yeah, that's it on that. Yeah, right here. It's probably not much of a re reach to see such censorship go national based on the White House's authoritarianism on the Beetlejuice, right? So this all boy boils down to freedom of speech, protesting. You saw, you, you, you saw the clip, man. They're, they're, they're in the town hall meeting. Chanting, right? Uh, a, a candidate, a, a lieutenant governor candidate is getting dragged out, right? And it boils down to uh, censorship, right? Protesting the rights of uh, uh, the First Amendment, man. Right here, Commissioner Jim Gibson, one of the two members who opposed the resolution, lamented the decision and the message that it sent. This is just ammunition that suggests now we're going to try to control speech, which no one intends to do, according to the Las Vegas Review Journal. Yeah, let's sit on that. But, uh, yeah, man, stay prayed up. Pray it out ceasing. All right? We know um, Babylon the Great, America the Great is falling, right? We know the Mosai Yahweh Shem Shai is putting the spirit on these Edomites, putting the spirit on two thirds of our people to uh, kingdom against kingdom, Egyptian against Egyptian, man, right? Society is being polarized, you know? And uh, this place is true, man. They prayed up, prayed up, ceasing. Kwame Asharala, wa abad, babal.